Hello you guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am back again for another Coffee with and This time, it's a little bit different. So I asked you guys in my previous videos, if you have any questions or you want advice that you need help from, you can either comment down below or send me a private message. And now I have randomly picked one message from a beautiful young lady. We can call her Miss Single. So here's her message. Hi, Coffee with C. Thank you so much for your advices. It helps me a lot. But I have one thing that I want your advice on. I have been single for two years and I am surrounded with friends who are in a happy relationship. So my question is, how do I stay happy seeing my friends in a happy relationship while me, I am single and miserable? How do I find happiness while I am single? In short, she is asking how to be happy while single. Okay, thank you for that message. So let's start. I think you should learn how to be happy on your own in your own company without getting your happiness from anybody else. And whoever comes to your life should be complimentary, not mandatory. You will not get the relationship that you deserve if you are asking or if you are seeking happiness from the person that you are going to be with. If you are not happy while you are single, no one can give that happiness to you. It starts from within. Seeking happiness from someone or things is a huge failure. You will start expecting a lot from people. You will start expecting a lot from your partner. People are not designed to please us. Eventually, you will get disappointed if you expect something from someone. As a result, that becomes a toxic relationship. If you start in a position where you are happy, eventually you will attract someone that appreciates that happiness. I think it's a mindset that we have to reprogram because it's either you choose to be happy now or not. It, it depends on what are you thinking. I mean, think about it. If you are single, you get to do whatever you want. On top of that, you don't have to worry about someone else. You don't have to be constantly updating someone of your whereabouts. This is the time for you to be selfish. <laughs> if you have a partner, you cannot be selfish. This is just a temporary season in your life. Take advantage of it. Take care of yourself. Pursue a hobby. Hang out with friends. Hang out with your family. If you start thinking this way, you will not even think that you are single you will have this type of mindset that you are living in abundance because you are taking care of yourself. You are improving yourself. You are living in the life. And then suddenly, someone will show up because of the great things you have done in your life, because of the improvements, of the happiness. We are created to be enough. We are our own source of happiness and strength. We don't need friends. We don't need a significant other to make it to this world. It's great to have them, but at the same time, you yourself is enough to keep moving forward. You should be the source of your own happiness. People will disappoint you, but yourself, that's your control. If you think happiness is being in a relationship, you're not gonna have a relationship that you truly deserve because you will start expecting from the person to give you the happiness that you are lacking. To tell you the truth, people are designed to disappoint us. And I've learned it the hard way. When I was younger, I expect a lot from people. <laughs> The less you expect from people, the less hurt you will go through. As you are in the season of self-improvement or taking care of yourself, enjoy it. Because when that time comes, when that right person comes in in your life, your relationship will be healthier. It should come naturally. You shouldn't wait for it. You should just start living your life. If you are actively 
seeking for that person. You might end up with the wrong one. As a Roman Catholic, I think God has someone for me. That regardless of wherever I am, God will bring that person to me at the right place and at the right time. The universe has a way to bring two people together that are meant for each other. They will come when you least expect it. That's just how life works. Not just in a relationship. You know, even if a work or something that you are pursuing, the success comes at the time that you're almost going to quit. Live life. You will find the right one in a place of peace and happiness. And that's where you want to be. Thank you. Thank you so much. This week, I will be picking another message that I'll be talking to you guys about. If you want to be part of it, go comment down below or send me a private message. You may be the next. I'll see you guys again in my next video.